Millions of sea stars have been dying, really excruciating, horrible deaths from sea star wasting disease. And scientists are trying to figure out why. They think they've had an idea. Uh, but how this disease works is pretty much a huge nightmare. First, the sea star's limbs start tying themselves in knots. It's literally called pretzeling. Then their, their legs fall off one by one and scooch away like zombie arms. And then finally, uh, the middle part of the sea star deflates. It dies. It's a horrible death. If a starfish or star sea star, excuse me, normally loses a limb, it's okay because they can they grow a whole nother. Yeah, as long as it has part of the but nucleus. All of them are coming off. That's so Could horrible. You imagine walking away. Like you know, uh, if we think about like dying at the stake or drowning. All of those would be quartering. terrible. This is quartering. This just, is straight up medieval. Just yeah, yeah like it's biological on quartering. the stretcher. Involuntary yeah. quartering and deflation. So previously in areas where there had been millions of sea stars in Vancouver, now it's pretty much barren and they were trying to figure out why. Well, it turns out that it's actually a virus. They figured this out by uh, getting an infected sea star and then putting the tissues on an uninfected one and then putting the tissues on that on another uninfected one. And guess what? They all got the sea star wasting disease that way. Uh, it's not super clear how it spread. But uh, Ian Hewson, a microbiology professor at Cornell University, is saying, viruses are typically nature's way of evening out the scales to keep species in balance, which seems fine. I mean, the, the, the animals that it preys on now are, are starting to grow out of control, but they're also coincidentally animals that we like to eat, like uh, scallops. Think like clams. Yeah. Clams, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, Urchins. So. I like that they found it originally on sea turtles. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the they cultivated, you know, it off of them. And so I thought I was like, wait, let's let's also let's stay medieval and blame sea turtles for it and just wipe out sea turtles. And that'll totally work, right? No, oh, I like uh, sea turtles. Sea turtles. Oh, fine, whatever. Sea turtles. <laughs> okay, no more emotions because this is science and it happens, but there will be emotions. Uh, other organisms like sea cucumbers are also show, showing shine showing signs of having this disease as well. Uh, we don't really know how to stop it because it's not really practical to go out and give an injection individually to each sea star. It's adorable. There are, well it's adorable, but there's millions of them. <laughs> I can't find them money. all. Yeah, the, uh, the one thing I'm worried about is that sea stars prey on like urchins and you know, things mm -hmm. that prey on urchins are important because for California kelp beds, like for us, I mean, you know, Canada has their own stuff, but we are unfortunately connected to them. <laughs> Ah, I can't The fine. Canadian Ocean uh, it's Canadians, is it's Canadians, totally yeah. different and it's inferior than the American ocean. ocean. But the uh, <laughs> a virus could spread. It could spread, sure. and we don't know if it can survive outside in the salt water or not. But the uh, but for for urchins are actually wiping out California kelp and stuff that they they eat the feet of kelp, and then the kelp floats to the surface, and then it's dead, and then we lose all our kelp forest. So that affects sea otters, right? Sea lions and all oh, stuff no, like that. Those so I'm are like, adorable. yeah, exactly. Oh no, they're adorable. Save them. We could, um, we could save but, uh, them. But so I'm worried ones. that if it ever comes down here. Mm -hmm. Those kelp bed, you know, and you know, I think bubbles. those things also aid in controlling the jellyfish population. Which sea turtles, yeah, sea turtles, yeah, and, and, you know, and the and kelp then, and stuff. Because, yeah. like, if you have the jellyfish go crazy, because they're essentially all like the fishing and stuff, yeah, 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 because jellyfish it's all are like, what? yeah, <laughs> they, they, they breed quickly. Well, um, Houston also wanted to make it very clear that there's no danger of this virus spreading to land, and humans are not susceptible to it. Uh, Lies. But, the sea stars are uh, kind of. <laughs> I'm, it's no. just more fun. It's just more fun if there's a like Ebola. Ebola is so last week. Look out for the st sea star the sea wasting star disease. disease. Yeah. Just start crawling away. Oh, like our bird flu. Exactly. Yeah. Are going to start crawling away from us anytime soon. Could happen. Oh my god! It's gonna be like The Last of Us. <gasps> 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 we have a video of the sea star wasting disease and its discovery in action. This is getting a little too close for comfort. I need to go see what's going on and I need to document it. As a diver and underwater videographer, James was equipped to do something. She decided to take her camera to a spot popular among both divers and starfish. These pilings are usually covered with a rainbow of starfish. On a recent dive, James discovered a scene from a horror film. There were bodies everywhere and they were just like these, these splats. To me, it always looked like someone had taken a laser gun and just zapped them and they just vaporized. Starfish, also known as sea stars, are wasting away by the tens of thousands. Not just in Puget Sound, but up and down North America's Pacific coast. 
and nobody knows why. Yeah, so it is a very, it's gruesome, it's troubling. Did uh, she blame stormtroopers? I mean, they looks like laser blasts. Pew, 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 pew. It looks like the, it's not it's, the it's sand people based on the blast markings. It's circumstantial <laughs> evidence. We don't know for sure. But it could be stormtroopers. Um, so they're they're wondering, you know, how can we stop this? Should we stop this? I mean, we we previously heard Houston say uh, that this is nature's way of evening things out. Um, Would you stop this if you could, or is it better for us to to leave it in nature's hands? It's so hard to tell because a lot of those kind of pandemics in the nature, you know, and you see like, you know, with extinct species and stuff like that, that nature has a way. Unfortunately, humans have integrated ourselves so much mm -hmm. that uh, we're reliant on so many things yeah. that I think it's in our best interest to try to keep everything status quo mm -hmm. yeah. by keeping things alive that were, we're alive. The ecosystems would be disrupted by the deaths of millions of sea stars, for sure. And I'm not really sure how we can stop it considering it's viral. Uh, capabilities and we can't really inoculate a bunch of sea stars. We can inoculate some sea stars, but... Uh, Abstinence among yeah. sea stars. <laughs> yeah, Abstinence just, training to prevent the spread. Just started, like passing out condoms. Yeah, exactly. and, like, <laughs> just putting them all on their, all their lands. <laughs> So they, they, That's they, not how they reproduce. They've only so. figured out the origin of the disease, not really how it spread. Um, it may be related to climate change. We don't actually know right now. Uh, and we can't really stop it either. It's just this horrible thing. I'm sorry for to tell you this. Uh, but if we could prevent the spread of a deadly virus in the wild, should we? Let us know what you think below in the comments of that question, audience. And please be sure to subscribe. I will see you next time.